Summer comes outdoor activities and fun activities for families. A lot of athletes and families. That'll mean things like sports practices, games, matches, and tournaments out in the sun. And during this week, it means watching the Travelers Tournament as well. With high temperatures, we just heard about there, and UV is important to take proper precautions, especially while you're playing and watching golf this weekend, too. And here with us today is Director of Hartford Healthcare, Go Health Urgent Care, Dr. Eric Walsh. Doctor, thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having me. All right, let's talk about this heat so we got coming in this weekend. How do you suggest that athletes and folks out watching uh, prepare for playing and watching out in the weather? First of all, dress appropriately. Make sure that you're wearing loose clothing um, um, and, you know, are able to expose skin as is appropriate. Um, uh, but the next big thing really is to make sure you're hydrating before, during, and after any sporting or athletic event. You want to load up on some fluids in advance so that you make sure that you, you know, you have some capacity. And electrolytes are important. So that's where fruits like watermelons and oranges are really good. They hydrate and they give you electrolytes all at the same time. There are a couple of things that can go wrong in the heat of the summer like this. Tell us the difference between heat exhaustion and heat stroke. Those are two different things, right? Two different things. Heat exhaustion often, normally, would come before a heat stroke. Heat exhaustion, you're going to sweat a whole lot. You're going to start feeling tired, might get a little dizzy, maybe even a touch of nauseousness. Um, uh, but when you get the heat stroke, you actually stop sweating. Uh, temperatures go way up, and there's much more um, effect on um, mentation. So you, you really can get drowsy, woozy, even pass out. Uh, heat, heat, heat stroke is a medical emergency. That person actually needs to go to the emergency room right away. What you want to do is when people are getting hot, one, of course, stay hydrated, get to shaded areas, put a cool rag on the back of the neck. Uh, of someone or put them in a cool uh, cool water in that heat exhaustion phase while you hydrate them. They go past that to heat stroke. You can still put the, the cool rag on the neck, but they probably need to go to the emergency room for further evaluation. All right. We've all been out there and been warm and uncomfortable, but what are the warning signs that we should look for when it's beyond that and we really need to get out of the heat or, or take action? Uh, probably one of the main things is um, if something happens where you are now starting to have, you know, 